Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access a Trader .com. Uh, nightly wrap up show. Everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good day of trading and hopefully everybody is happy and healthy. All I ask guys, take a second, uh, be so kind, share, subscribe, mostly like, help the channel grow, and I will hopefully continue to bring you uh, day to day value. So here's the good news, right? Here's the good news uh, down today, up. Uh, 240 points was up like 350 points. Uh, Dow continues to look good. Again, not exactly the most exciting thing in the world considering there's only 30 components who make up the Dow Jones. Uh, IWM continues, again, show, showing a lot more uh, relative strength, especially in the last uh, two, three months versus uh, the first half of the year. Again, small cap, mid cap stocks continue uh, to outperform uh, a lot of the mega cap technology names who have their big, big runs. And as we've been talking about in the last couple of days, well, showing some uh, weakness. Uh, SPY today uh, flat, right? SPY flat. And the NASDAQ was down 39 points. Doesn't seem that bad. The problem was NASDAQ was up uh, about 250, 300 points. And you can see here uh, intraday, right? You had the data coming out this morning. You had a big move up, and then you just had this really nasty, disgusting uh, reversal into the close. And the problem with that was, um, as we talked about yesterday, yesterday we closed below the 50-day moving average. And what we talked about yesterday is the longer the bulls cannot close back above the 50-day moving average, it starts putting in a ceiling. It's a stronger ceiling for the bears. And again, all you need to do is, like we talked about in last night's video, Go back to uh, you know, go back to uh, September the twenty fourth, right? What happened? We lost the fifty day moving average. They got comfortable and ultimately uh, went down nine point four percent. So, not a good look for the bulls. Not a good look, especially uh, the whole day. The market was holding up very, very well. Um, bulls were rallying. Was led by Apple. Apple was going bananas the whole day. Uh, Apple had a really, really strong showing. Uh, Eighty percent of the day before, obviously, before it came back in. Uh, with everything else. Uh, you even had Tesla waking up, right? Tesla woke up this morning, looked great, looked great, looked great, was up nine points, finished the day up 55 cents. Again, below the 50-day moving average for four consecutive days. Uh, Amazon can is just in its own bear market. Again, even though uh, the stock was green today, uh, this is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row of lower closes than opens. That's what signals uh, these red candles. Again, not a good look. Uh, Meta was strong today all day until it got rejected into supply, right? Perfect supply of the 10-day rejection. Again, not a good look. So you have a lot of names like that, right? A lot of names that look good this morning. It felt like the bulls were back into control 80%, 85% of the day. And towards the end of the day, again, the afternoons are so random. You got ge geopolitical uh, headlines. You got uh, the election events. You have monkey pox and this pox and that pox. And God knows what else is going on in the world. I really don't watch a lot of TV uh, or listen to a lot of news. But something came out, shook the markets. You had three uh, three separate uh, treasury auctions uh, this, this morning and this afternoon. Something obviously freaked the market out. But the most important part is how impressive the market was this morning, considering NVIDIA was red. NVIDIA was red pretty much the whole day today. Not all, pretty much was red the whole day today. And the NASDAQ was up 250 points. He said to himself, wow, you know, the queues are back above the 50 day, and this is without NVIDIA's participation. Well, the bulls are back in charge until you look back at the close and you say to yourself, well, wait a minute, what the hell just happened? And, you know, unfair, unwarranted, whatever the case may be, uh, NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA was down 6% today, uh, never rallied today. Uh, and now, you know, now it's, you start looking at bigger levels, bigger timeframes, uh, bigger areas of the market. If you look at uh, what we talked about last night, that 115 level is going to be a big number if, it, if indeed it, it challenges that in the next couple of days, because uh, that 15 whole range 
is kind of the last line of defense before we start falling down to the bottom of the range here, 11 and 9. So again, NVIDIA got sold off uh, pretty aggressively. There was definitely some shining stars today on uh, names like Affirm. Big, big move. Really, really big move. Closed within a dollar uh, of its highs. Again, this is a name that had a short, big short interest. You want to use uh, any weakness tomorrow into rising 60-minute support. That's the intraday chart. On, on AFRM, obviously above today's range will go again. Names like SoFi, right? SoFi, I mean, had a big move. Again, you know, it took a lot, some profit taking here into the close, but look at the move. I mean, look at SoFi, had a really nice looking chart, uh, looking very, very strong. But the most important part is, again, this is where, like I said yesterday, I, I, I don't want to play Debbie Downer. Again, if it was up to me, every single day would be a bull market. Everybody could just buy stocks with no ramifications, no charts, no anything. But charts are charts. Again, they're there to uh, help you and not trick you. And the fact that we close now uh, second day in a row below the 50-day moving average while we got rejected perfectly uh, on Monday's highs, or it's, yeah, Monday's highs, it's not a good thing. It's really not a good thing. It, it really showed you a double top here uh, off the 10-day moving average. And now the big level is yesterday's lows, which is 467.89 uh, on the Qs. And any close, just like NVIDIA, any close below this channel here, uh, which is the 65-day EMA, uh, any close below the 65-day EMA, again, starts a you know, pretty decent selling cycle uh, back into this 460 level. So again, like I said last night's video, uh, bulls you know, got to get above that 50-day and stay above the 50-day uh, on the closing basis. Or again, again, I don't, wanna, I don't think we're going to start turning into uh, a scenario from July the 25th, uh, you know, going in four week. 9.4% decline, but you know, anything's possible. The longer we stay below uh, the 50 day moving average, the higher probability uh, there is going to be more damage. And that's the most important part. So, uh, obviously, the majority of stocks today closed at their lower channels versus their upper channels. Tesla actually looked great intraday. It did. It was, it got back. It's kind of it was like the kind of the cues. It got back to uh, the highs from uh, two days ago got rejected there perfectly. Again, the problem is it put in an inverted hammer that's bearish. Uh, we definitely, definitely want to watch Tesla in the next couple of days in case the market can't rally uh, below the 200-day. If you thought the 50-day was important, you know this thing loses, the, again, the 200-day moving average. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. So it's definitely one I am watching uh, for the next couple of days. Um, you know, you look, you know, you look like we talked about NVIDIA. Uh, you, you look for maybe another range uh, below today's channel, you know, maybe maybe gives you another push there tomorrow uh, for a second day move. Uh, let me give you guys a couple of some other ideas uh, that I like. Um, you know, let me give you some ideas to the upside that actually look pretty good in case the market rallies tomorrow. Uh, PLTR, again, kind of a mirror image, a double top here off the 10-day moving average. But just in case uh, PLTR wakes up, we did see some short-term $40 calls uh, being uh, rung off here on PLTR. And he said, it, it desperately needs to get back above the 10-day moving average for that to happen. Um, I like this ALAB. We have a nice pivot today on this ALAB uh, off this 46 and a quarter. Stopped at the 50-day moving average. Right, guys? That's the key. It needs to reclaim the 50-day moving average before. It was a recent uh, recent IPO within the last calendar year. It had some big runs. Uh, congratulations for you guys who caught that move today. If it gets them back above the 50-day moving average, uh, this thing can wake up as well. Uh, look at a name like Tulo. Right, too low. Also, look how long this distribution channel is. This is a long channel going back to May. This thing could just get above this whole May channel. Uh, maybe this thing wakes up, right? Maybe this thing wakes up as well. But uh, not a good look. Not a good look for the bulls to kind of summarize it. AMD uh, is back to uh, almost yesterday's lows. Uh, you got Amazon uh, inside day turning into inside day. You got to watch this thing below yesterday's lows in the video for another day. Tesla, like I said. We, we want to watch this thing in case it gets down to the 200-day moving average and loses it. So, you know, there, you definitely want to be prepared on both sides. It's something we talk about all the time. But again, the most important part is where we close and what we needed to do but failed uh, if you are speaking from a bull uh, point of view. And that is we closed a second day below uh, the 50-day moving average. The longer we stay below, the higher probability it will get pulled uh, for more downside pressure. We'll see. You know, we'll see again. This is why you are uh, prepared for both sides. So guys, again, that's it. Uh, again, uh, <laughs> daddy daycare calls. Got to take my kids to training. Have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow's Friday. Trade it well. And I will see you on the field of God's help tomorrow. Take care.